Lord, we give you glory. Lord, we honor you for such a time as this. There is none like you. We praise you, Lord. Come on, offer your adoration. Offer your salutation. We have come before the King of Kings. Raise your voice tonight. Tell him you honor him and love him. Glorify him. Lift him up for such a time as this. Call him your names. Call him his name. King of kings. Lord of lords. Lion of Judah. Prince of peace. Offer your salutation. You do not come to a king just to demand. You come to a king to honor. Oh, come on somebody. Just honor him. Honor him at this moment. Moment. Lift him up at this moment. He is worthy of all praise. He is worthy of all honor. Just glorify him for such a time as this. Oh, Holy Spirit. Just call on the name of Jesus right now. Raise your voice. You haven't gone to your brother's bedroom. You haven't gone to your sister's room. You have come into the Holy of Holies. You have come into the presence of God. Oh, Mount Zion. Heavenly Jerusalem. Come on, just raise your voice. Show your honor. Show your honor. Show your honor. Lift up your voice. Show your honor. Show your honor. Oh, offer your adoration. Offer your salutation. Let the devil hear you worshiping your God. Let the devil hear you lifting up your king. Let the devil hear you raising your voice. Oh, shepherd. Humble shepherd. Come on, just raise up your voice tonight and glorify your king. Imagine that you have walked into the throne room imagine that you are looking at a throne imagine that you are looking at a dazzling crown oh come on somebody just see it the, to, tonight you have walked into the throne room of God offer your salutation you are standing before glory offer your salutation say I honor you my king I honor you, my Lord. I worship you, my King. I give you praise, my God. Oh, remind him of what he has done. Remind him of what he has done. He kept you alive. He has kept your children alive. He has kept them protected. He has blessed them and surrounded them. Oh, come on, somebody, just raise your voice. Raise your voice tonight. He has not let you go down into the pit. He says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. He has honored you enough and given you breath so that you will praise. Him. Come on, somebody tonight. Raise your voice. Offer your salutation. It doesn't matter if you prostrate. People prostrate before their kings. It doesn't matter if you kneel where you are. People kneel before their kings. Come on, just honor him. It doesn't matter. Just raise your voice. Just honor him. Just glorify him for such a time as this. Hallelujah. Amen. We have come to praise him. We have come to lift him up. We have come to glorify him. Man does 
not matter right now. It is his presence. Your thoughts are not important right now. It is his presence. Your fame is not important right now. It is his presence. What your achievements are not important right now. It is his presence. Oh, come on, somebody. It is the throne room of God. You have come to behold the glory. Lift up your voice tonight. Lift up your voice tonight and honor him. Lift up your voice tonight and glorify him. Lift up your voice tonight and say, I salute you, my king. I honor you. Testify. Praise is to brag about what God has done. Come on, somebody. Just praise him today. Brag on what he has done. I honor you, my king. Because in you I live and move and have my very being. I honor you, my king. Because you have given me a voice. I honor you, my king. Because you have left me alive. You have left my children alive. You have left my family alive. I don't deserve it, Lord. But you have honored me and left me a remnant so that I can worship you, so that I can lift my voice. Oh, I honor you tonight because you have not let me perish. I honor you tonight because I can still worship you. You have not let me go back to Egypt. I honor you tonight. Come on, somebody just raise your voice. Honor him for such a time as this. Who are you that a king should die for you? Who are you that a king should die for you? Who are you that a king should desire to protect and serve you? Who are you? Come on, somebody just raise your voice. Raise your voice tonight. Raise your voice tonight. There is a reason why he has left you alive. There is a reason why he has preserved you. There is a reason why he has honored you with health and strength. Raise your voice tonight. Raise your voice tonight. Lord, I raise my voice. I worship you for such a time as this. You have kept me alive. You have preserved me. You have protected me. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We praise you, Master. We praise you, Jesus. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all praise. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to welcome all of you to today's midweek service. You are welcome to the Miracle Center Cathedral where we minister the love in a hurting world. I want you to know that today deliverance is here. The glory of God is here. The power of God is here. The intervention of the Holy Spirit is here. The ability and the anointing of God is here. You will not live here the same way you came. We are about to pray. We are about to call in the glory to cover you to protect you hallelujah Amen. you will not live here the same way that you came I'm duly informed that Jessica Kanja Facebook page can be accessed the Robert Kanja Facebook page can be accessed the Jessica Kanja YouTube can be accessed the Robert Kanja YouTube which you to be the most popular will soon be reopened. Watch out for fraudsters and people who are trying to steal your money online by pre pre uh, pretending to be us. 
we do not collect money online. So anyone who is showing up online saying they are us and they are collecting money for orphanages, orphanages and all those things, we have all those things, but we don't collect money online. So even if they are using our pictures, raise an alarm. Take, upon, take it upon yourself to fight the battle on media. And report it. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, it is spiritual warfare. We are going, we have been in spiritual warfare the, the whole of this week. We are going to continue to go into spiritual warfare. Even though we were praying regarding the anointing of our hands, it is important to fight. Uh, David said, Blessed be the Lord my God, who teaches my fingers to battle and my hands to walk. And it is important for us to war with our hands because demonic intervention no matter how hard working you are no matter how much precision you work with no matter how much excellence you observe there are some people who have observed all this and come out with nothing and if we don't give you the entire gospel then we don't give you the gospel at all because even though Jesus taught on the mount he taught the, the, the sermon of the beatitudes Sorry. Yes, he taught uh, someone regarding etiquette and behavior. Okay. He still took time to drive out evil spirits, to drive out demons. He said in his word that in my name you shall cast out evil spirits. So I am sorry if you are one of those people who do not believe that there is a demonic realm and God has made us superiors. We are reigning with him and we have the ability to cast down all imagination and anything that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. Our weapons of warfare are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. Amen. Casting down all imagination and anything that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. And your hands are just flesh and blood. Your work is just by flesh and blood. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. But the real war is against principalities. The real war is against powers of darkness. The real war is against rulers of powers of darkness. So we must give a balanced gospel. The same gospel that Jesus gave. He taught on etiquette. He taught on love. He taught on family. He taught on marriage. He taught on work. And that is what I have been doing. But he took some time to cast out demonic interference. He took some time to cast out. And he promised in his word 
Lord in my name they will cast out and that is what we have been doing today is another battle a different type of battle we are in the battle of hiding from the enemy father one more time I present myself as a vessel willing to be used of you. I pray that if there is anything in me that is more of me that I will decrease right now so that you will increase in me. And I pray Lord that as your word goes forth tonight that it will continue to be the sword that it is to divide to break, <laughs> to separate, <laughs> to di di disentangle us from the plight of the enemy. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. We speak the glory to our houses. We speak the glory to our families. We speak the glory to our marriages. We speak the glory to the work of our hands. We speak the glory to our ministries in the name of Jesus I hope we are ready to pray I hope we are ready to intercede I want to welcome the online church it is a full house tonight I can see people I haven't seen in a long time I am excited to see all of you you are highly welcome in the name of Jesus hallelujah amen I want to do my readings now. The first reading says it is the glory of God to conceal or to conceal or to, okay let's Sorry. use to hide it is the glory of God to hide a matter. Exodus chapter 40 verse 34 then the cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle Moses could not enter the tent of meeting because the cloud had settled on it and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle then the cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Moses could not enter the tent of meeting because the cloud had settled on it and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. Our final reading is taken from Exodus chapter 14 and it is a story that we all know. Exodus chapter 14. I will start with verse 17. And, be, I, and I behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians. And they shall follow them. And, and, and I will get me honor upon Pharaoh and upon all his hosts, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh upon his chariots and upon his horsemen and the angel of God which went before the camp of Israel removed and went behind them and the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them and it came between the camp
camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel and it was cloud and darkness to the Egyptians and the glory was cloud and darkness to the Egyptians but it gave light by night to the Israelites so that the one came, no one came not near the other all that night the glory is darkness to the enemy the glory is darkness to the enemy the Bible shows us that the children of Israel were being pursued by the Egyptians who did not want to let them go and when they came in this in vicinity when they came into visibility the cloud the glory the angel that had gone ahead of the Egyptians changed direction and went behind the Israelites and covered the Israelites and became darkness to the enemy so that the enemy even though they were looking at the Israelites they could not see the Israelites even though the Israelites were visible to the enemy they appeared invisible oh come on somebody even though the Israelites were obvious to the enemy they were unobvious oh this is what I call targeted visibility the glory locates and decides to whom you will appear visible to. It is not necessary to be visible to everyone at a specific time. Moses' mother hid him by the river and he was not visible to the Egyptians. But when the princess a rich woman a royal woman a woman from the palace came Moses became visible targeted visibility you do not have to be visible to your enemy the glory appears as darkness to the enemy oh come on somebody I will repeat Proverbs chapter 25 verse, th verse 2 it is the glory of God to hide a mother. It is the glory of God to hide a mother. I decree and declare right now that the glory of God is going to hide you from the pursuit of the enemy. They will see, look at you, but they will not see you. They will come with invisible but you will be invisible oh you will be obvious to some but to your enemies you will not be obvious the glory will cover you from COVID-19 the glory will cover you from the enemy that pursues you at night the glory will cover you from every ancestral spirit. The glory will cover you from every demonic spirit that pursues. It is the glory of God according to Proverbs 25 verse 2 to hide a man. It is the glory of God to hide a man. Tonight you are the that matter. Tonight, you are that matter. These are difficult times. But I want you to know that the glory of the Lord is present to hide you. Oh, Psalm 32, verse 7. David says, You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You 
I want you to know that there is a hiding place and his name is the glory of God that is the Egyptians were within reach of the Israelites they could have done them harm if they could see them they had superior weaponry they had spears they had swords but the glory created darkness so that they could not see I don't care what weapons the enemy is using it may be the greatest witchcraft it may be the greatest manipulation it may be, it may be the greatest lies but they are going to miss their target because the glory on you is becoming darkness to them in the name of Jesus oh I speak the glory right now over my children may whoever wants to harm them see darkness and miss the target I speak the glory over my husband right now may whoever wants to harm them see darkness every demonic spirit that is in pursuit of their life is about to see darkness so that they will not hide them they will not hurt them it is different to look at people and it is another thing to see them the Egyptians were looking at the Israelites but they were not seeing them I want you to know <laughs> that they will be looking at you but they will not see you it doesn't matter what they plan man will plan they are cons you cannot stop them from conspiring you cannot stop them from conspiring but you can stop them from seeing you to carry out what they have conspired Psalm chapter 31 verse 20 says you hide me in the secret place of your pleasure from the conspiracies of man the Egyptians had conspired they had said let us go after the Israelites they had seen the speed of their horses they had measured the power of their weapons they realized that the Israelites did not even have horses the Israelites did not even have weapons they conspired and said we will pursue them oh Lord hide me from the conspiracies of men oh Lord hide me from the conspiracies of men the Egyptians had conspired but they could not see through their conspiracies they had a strategy they had a plan you cannot stop them from strategizing against you but the glory will stop them from seeing you and their plans are of no use if they cannot see you do you know that you can stand before someone and they might miss you if you have the glory do you know that someone might be looking at you and not actually seeing it oh come on somebody Amen. if they if you have the glory on you the glory became darkness to their enemies I speak the glory over every sorcery oh, yeah, I speak glory over you against every sorcery against every divine oh against every shrines the witchcraft will target you but the glory will be as darkness they will miss their targets in the name of Jesus I speak glory over your family against disease against poverty against sickness against death they are all spirits that the glory is covering you tonight 
to and it is becoming darkness to your enemy. It is the glory of God to hide a matter. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. According to Proverbs chapter 25 verse 2, the glory of God will conceal a matter. Come on somebody, declare it on your house tonight. Declare it upon your children tonight. May the glory become darkness to your enemy. May the glory become darkness to your enemy. Some of you, those who seek your harm, are within your vicinity. They are very near you. The Bible says the enemy shall be that one within your household. They are very near you. And you are wondering what to do. Speak the glory. The Egyptians were very near the Israelites. Speak the glory. May the glory become darkness to your enemies. May the glory become darkness to your enemies. Oh, there is money that you are trying to hide. You are afraid that it will be stolen from you. Declare the glory on it. May the glory become darkness to that thief in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The scripture we have just said read, says the glory fueled the entrance of the tabernacle. And Moses could not enter. He knew where the tabernacle was. He knew where the entrance was. But he could not go through the entrance. They know where your house is. They may know where the entrance is. But when the glory overwhelms your house, when the glory overwhelms your entrance, they will not find that entrance to come in and hurt you. Moses could not go into the tabernacle because the glory was on the entrance. I speak the glory over my door. I speak the glory over my window. I speak the glory over my corridor. May the glory become darkness. May the glory become darkness over my house. May the glory become darkness to the enemy of my house. May the glory become darkness to the enemy of my ministry. May the glory become darkness to the enemy of my marriage. May the glory become darkness to the enemy of my marriage. Oh, come on somebody. The cloud went behind and became darkness to their enemy. Moses could not penetrate the tabernacle even though he knew the tabernacle. He couldn't see the entrance anymore. The end, the glory was seated on the entrance. Declare the glory on your get. Declare the glory on your house. Declare the glory around your family. May the glory be darkness to your enemy tonight. May the glory be darkness to your enemy tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, the glory become darkness to everyone who seeks my heart. The glory become darkness to every evil around me. The glory become darkness to every conspiracy of the sorcerers. The glory become darkness to every conspiracy of the diviner. The glory become darkness to every conspiracy of the shriner. The glory become darkness to every conspiracy of evil. Oh, Lord, the psalmist said, deliver me from the conspiracy of the evil one. Deliver me from conspiracy of the evil one. Come on, speak glory. The cloud that had gone ahead of them now stands behind them and covers them. The cloud 
that was giving them direction now stands behind them I speak to the cloud to stand behind my family I speak to the cloud to stand behind my children I speak to the cloud to stand behind my husband I speak to the cloud to stand behind my family I speak to the cloud to stand behind my ministry I speak to the cloud to stand behind my marriage I speak to the cloud to stand behind my finances oh may the glory be darkness to my enemy tonight may the glory be darkness to my enemy tonight they will look for you and they will not find you it is the glory of a of the Lord to hide the matter it is the glory of the Lord to conceal a matter oh Proverbs 25 verse 2 it is the glory of the Lord to hide a matter I decree and declare it tonight the glory over your house the glory over your children the glory over your family Moses could not go into the tabernacle because the glory was on the door the glory on my gate the glory on this ministry the glory on that gate the glory come on somebody speak the glory may it be darkness to your household tonight may it be darkness to your household enemy in the name of Jesus the glory they will look for you and they will not find you David looked for Saul and came within his vicinity and Saul looked for David and came with his, within his vicinity and he still did not see him oh may the glory hide him from the pursuit of your enemy even the one that is near you. Even the one that is in your house. Even the one that works with you. Even the one that is around you. They will not find you. They will not find you. Soul did not find David. Soul did not find David. All oh, those who were looking for the spies went to Rahab and Rahab said Rahab said they are gone and they did not find them they will look for you but they will not see you there is a difference between being seen being looked at and being visible I decree and declare targeted visibility the people who need to see you will see you the Israelites could see each other the glory brought light in the camp of the Israelites but the enemy could not see them come on somebody speak glory to your job speak glory to your family speak glory speak glory Herod sent spies to look for Peter they looked for him and the Bible says they could not find him and when the officers went back to Herod Herod killed the officers instead they will look for you and they will not find you even though they are near you even though they are standing with you even though they are in your vicinity they will look for you and they will not find you speak the glory to speak the glory tonight may the glory become darkness to your enemy tonight may the glory become darkness to your enemy tonight hey, may it become light to your house but darkness to their enemies but darkness to their enemies in the name of Jesus hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. thank you Jesus thank you Holy Spirit we praise you thank you glory hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. the jealous Jews 
looked for Paul and Silas in Jason's house but they could not find him they will look for you and they will not find you we speak the glory tonight we speak the glory tonight may the glory become darkness to the enemy may the glory become darkness to him who pursues may the glory become darkness to him who desires your heart may the glory become darkness to the evil that pursues you may the glory become darkness to the diviners in your past may the glory become darkness it is the glory of the king to hide a matter it is the glory of the king to hide a matter we decree and declare the glory to in the mighty name of Jesus we decree and declare the glory to in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah Amen. the bible says in the book of Mark chapter 14 verse 55 that they looked for somebody to testify against Jesus. <laughs> that one I think I should even continue with tomorrow. They looked for someone to testify against Jesus. And they did not find them. That is the glory hiding witnesses against you. That is the glory hiding those who are fighting you from them. Hiding you from those who who are fighting. That is the glory. They were looking for someone to come forth and say something about Jesus. But they could not find them. They could not find them. It is Mark chapter 14 verse 55. They could not find them. It was the chief priests and the Sanhedrin looking for evidence against Jesus. Looking for somebody to say something against Jesus. And they could not find them. It is the glory of a king, of the Lord, to hide a matter. It is the glory of the Lord to conceal a matter. Tonight I declare glory to every attack. Oh, against every every attack. I declare glory on me that every attack will see darkness. I declare glory on my family that every disease will see darkness. I declare glory upon my household that every sickness will see darkness. I declare glory upon my household that every attack will see darkness. Oh, the glory is darkness to your enemy. 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 They will look for you and they will not find you. It is the glory of God to conceal um, to, to hide a matter or to conceal a matter come on speak the glory tonight everywhere the glory on the food you eat the poison will not find it the glory on the money you make the thief will not find it the glory on your business the competitor will will not meet you. The glory on your marriage. The haggaris will not find it. The glory on your business. It will not find it. The glory on your finance. Luck will not find it. The glory is becoming darkness. 
every evil attack the glory is becoming darkness to every evil endeavor the glory is becoming darkness to every demonic situation the glory is becoming darkness to every evil hindrance the glory is becoming darkness to every heart and every pain the glory is becoming darkness come on Amen. and the cloud moved behind him and became darkness to the enemy that pursued. Speak a cloud tonight on the door. On the door. I speak a cloud tonight even on the door of the heart of my loved one. I speak the glory even on the door of the heart of my loved one. They will not be penetrated. They will not be manipulated. Those words that are given them will miss target. Those words that are sent will miss target. Oh Lord, glory, hide their hearts. Hide their spirits. Hide their minds. Oh, come on somebody. Decree and declare it tonight. The glory of Uganda. The glory of our country. The glory of our country. Come on, speak the glory. I speak the glory over my siblings. Speak the glory over your family. Speak the glory over your family. May the glory become darkness to everything that pursues, to everything that runs after you. May the glory become darkness. May the glory become darkness. And the glory became darkness to everything that pursued. Oh, I speak the glory. Speak the glory over your business ideas. Speak the glory over your business ideas. That there will not be unraveled and uncovered before time. Speak the glory. Over your business ideas, that there will not be manipulated. Come on, somebody, the glory is about to hide your do the door to your heart, to someone's heart. The glory is about to hide the door to someone's business. Moses could not go into the tabernacle because the glory had hidden the entrance. Come on, somebody speak the glory. It is the glory of a king to hide a man. It is the glory of the king to hide a situation. It is the glory of the king to conceal a man. Tonight, Lord, we hide in your glory. We hide our families in your glory. We hide our children in your glory. We hide our ministries in your glory. We hide our health in your glory. We hide our food in your glory. We hide our finances in your glory. We hide our wisdom in your glory. It is your glory, O oh God. To conceal us. It is your glory of God. To hide us. It is your glory of God. To hide us. Oh Lord. Conceal us and hide us. In the name of Jesus. We thank you Holy Spirit. That we are hidden. In your glory. You have concealed us tonight. You have covered us tonight. We are hidden from the from the secret council. 
of evildoers like you have promised in Psalm 64 verse 2 we decree and declare that the glory has covered us and has become darkness to our enemy tonight as we worship hide yourself in the glory hide your children in the glory hide your family in the glory hide your marriage in the glory Lord I hide my family in the glory may the enemy miss the target may they look at me them and not see them may they look at me and not see me hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. the glory can cover you come on someone Amen. welcome the glory of God into your house tonight Welcome the glory of God into your family tonight. Welcome the glory of God into your business tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.